What's going on with 22? How they showing to play? Of course, we all doing our thing. We appreciate it. Had to wait till, uh, the, you know, little knucklehead catch. I'm making noise so we can get at you. You dig what I'm saying? Let you know what's going on with us. We appreciate you, you, you and you getting down in the mix. And, of course, we're doing our series on what's going on. Uh, you know, I go and try to revive what's going on with uh, the Internet. Different locations. Today I was at a location where I saw a guy who uh, had been, uh, I've been seeing him out pretty much a lot lately and uh, you know he was trying to hustle people about you know how he wasn't doing well XYZ you know people were getting food what have you XYZ and um, turns out that he really wasn't trying to get himself together you know what I mean he really wasn't trying to do what he needed to do to take care of his business he was just trying to hustle some people so he can go get another hit which is not cool so don't be privy to people who you think you're helping them, you think you're doing something for them, and you're really not doing anything but hindering them. You know, you're not helping them, uh, you know, get themselves together. You're not helping them, uh, you know, get situated. You dig what I'm saying? You're just helping them uh, more so feed their addiction, uh, you know, and that's not helping them to get themselves together. And when you, you know, deal with folks like that, it's really a situation where they really need to try to get their lives and their addiction to control and themselves under control. So... Just wanted to, you know, come get at you on that, that, uh, you know, you cannot be privy to thinking that you're helping someone and that is really not the case. You just, uh, you know, see, if you're going to do something for them, maybe you're buying some food and you'll do some stuff because what what was learned from me is, is that um, what I had to learn here firsthand is, is that, you know, when you reach out to give some help to some folks, and it turns out that uh, everything they told you was not true. They're just trying to sell you a bill of goods. It was a bill of goods. And uh, also, too, uh, a situation where, um, you know, you try to help them where they wouldn't be, of course, on the street, as they put it. turns out that they um, mentally and psychologically not ready because, you know, the intoxicants have them so intoxicated that they cannot, uh, they're not in the right state of mind. I mean, you're not in the right state of mind, of course, you're not making rational decisions, and you're not taking care of your business. So that's just how it goes when you're dealing with folks in that situation, you understand what I'm saying? So I just wanted to bring that to you. Um, uh, that's been revealed. I feel like, you know, I'm a, you know, I believe in God. I'm not privy to uh, religion. A lot of that seems to be uh, self-serving for people. But, of course, I believe in you know, God Almighty, the Lord above. Of course, Christians believe in Jesus and the power of that. But I'm not into uh, with all these different churches and all this different stuff going on. You would think that more positive stuff that would be going on that would be happening. You understand what I'm saying? So, I thought I'd come down. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to chill out right now. It's getting close to that time to wind it down. And I'm going to... Um, go, I think, uh, give me some dinner and chill, and I think I'm going to go and uh, have me some, uh, give me some, uh, have me some coffee and chill out too, all right? So you keep riding, keep up, I'm going to see.